What you just saw is the world record for the uh, obsidian cock speed run. That's right, this is an actual speed run where players try to get obsidian and make a cock out of it in the quickest time possible. So let's try this out for ourselves. Uh, it's kind of crazy if you think about it, how everything I've ever done in my life has led me to a moment where I'm recording a video where I'm playing Minecraft and making an obsidian cock. But all right, let's try this out. Y'all saw the seed. Wait. This isn't the seed. I think I'm playing on the wrong version of the game. Yeah, I was. I needed to be playing on 1.16. All right. There's a chest right there. Right when I move, the timer is going to start. Let's see if I can beat the world record. The world record's like 0.6 seconds, by the way, so I'm not beating this, but... All right. Uh, get some of this and then go. Da -da. Yay, there we go. What was that? Four seconds, I think. Nice. Awesome. All right, I do want to try this again, though. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Nice, 3.8 seconds, that's not bad. Okay, I know it may not look like it yet, but you're looking at a future world record holder, baby. Oh, this spawn is really bad. Um, let's try it. 3.5 seconds, wow. Okay, you know what, I think I'll, I think I'll take it. 3.5 seconds, that was, wow, that was really good. This isn't even the weirdest speedrun though, because what you're watching now is the speedrun for getting a stack of lime wool, which is a category on speedrun.com. RipFC did this in two minutes and nine seconds by spawning right in front of a desert temple, blowing up the chest to quickly drop the items inside of them and to get the cobblestone under the temple, destroying all the cacti, using the cobblestone to make furnaces, smelting all the cacti into green dye, using the bones that he got from the temple to make white dye, and crafting the white and green dye into lime dye. Then he goes to round all the sheep and dyes them and cuts the wool off as fast as possible. This really shows how even the most random speedrun categories have a lot of thought put into them in order to get the record and it's not just the category for beating the game that has insane strats. And to be honest this looks way too difficult for me to try. Another speedrun category is Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles where similarly to the last speedrun the player has to get blue, orange, and red dye and dye one sheep each color. Tinpot did this in seven seconds by spawning in front of the flowers that could be turned into dyes and just putting the dyes on the sheep. Now let's get away from speedruns that revolve around dying sheep and move towards a speedrun where you have to mine an entire chunk all the way down to bedrock. Andrew Crow did this in a little under an hour, which is absolutely insane, but this was in 1.17 before the Y level got pushed into the negative, so he had a lot less to work with than if he did it in current Minecraft. This is a really interesting speedrun run because the gist of this isn't to just make a pickaxe in mine that would be too slow the way to do this really fast and i know the quality looks like it was recorded by a toaster that heats pop tarts is to get moss and bone meal and place the moss block down and bone meal it this turns all the stone into moss and it can easily be destroyed with a hoe even though this looks really fast you still have to put a lot of time into getting enough bone meal to consistently bone meal moss resources to keep making a bunch of hoes because they break super easily and even finding a moss block itself is pretty difficult but i wonder how fast you could do this in 1.20 one speed run that you have to do in 1.19 or 1.20 is the fastest time to kill the warden zaduri did this in three minutes and 14 seconds which is absolutely mind-blowing when i first heard this because my first thought to kill the warden is to make a trap for him to fall in and place blocks over him to suffocate but that takes a long time instead what this player does is just grab a bed from a village and get wooden tools to go all the way down to the ancient city, spawn the warden by making noise and building this weird looking thing. Basically how this works is the warden goes here and the player just gets a bunch of critical hits on it and when the player dies they just respawn in the same place they were because the bed is right there. Also I'm not gonna lie I had no idea you could make stone tools from cobbled deep slate so this speedrun taught me something. You know this is actually one that I can do. Now I'm actually gonna do this on a set seed unlike that record I was talking about that's on a random seed. I just can't be bothered to sit there for an hour and wait for seeds to, you know, do this run. But this seed is crazy because you spawn in an ancient city. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm pretty sure what you do here is you run over here, you get these two pieces of wood. And this is, like I said, just an insane scene. You run over here, activate that shulker. Yep, yep. Then you go over here, you mine this little piece of wood. Okay, 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 come over here, 
do this, do a little bit of this, do some of that, place this here. It goes off again. Mine some of this, I guess. Wait for it to go a third time. Um, come on. Third time screech, third time screech. Third time screech. There we go. Third time screech. I think that means the warden's now going to spawn. You go up here. Man, this is crazy. And then this. And then you mine some of this. And some of this. Yeah, this is a really crazy speed run because essentially I'm pretty sure what you do is you take these little drip stones and then you kill the warden with them. And then I think we, we make some noise here. So we do that. Um, what? Did I do this wrong? Here, come on, man. Make some noise. Come on, come on. Spawn the warden. Let's go, let's go. Okay, there we go. It's spawned. It's spawned. So then we come over here. We do this and we do that. Oh, see, now he's coming over. Right? What is he doing? Yeah, see? Now he hears it. He hears it. Now he's walking over to it. You hear him dying? Oh, he's not dead! Oh man, this is stressing me out. What is he not dying from it? He's not dying from it. Oh my god. He's not even... Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. Alright. It was like 326. Jesus Christ. That is a really hard speed run because he never goes to the exact area i i fumbled that oh my god another one spawning but yeah the world record for this is barely over one minute and here's the seed if anyone wants to run this for themselves another boss speed run is fastest time to kill the elder guardian in which nobody has actually done this above 1.19 okay I got this. Get some wood, mine some stone, make an axe, make some doors, and make a boat. Oh, there it is. And nice. Well, guys, I got the world record now. But before 1.19, there's quite a few runs. So this player, Erky, did this in 48 seconds by spawning right next to a ruined portal with a golden axe, making a boat, finding the monument, and yeah, killing the Elder Guardian. Well, I guess I had the general idea right when I tried it. Now the fastest time to kill the Wither... Oh, wait, they don't have anything for 1.19 either. Two-time world record holder right here. But before 1.19, Mathox achieved this in 17 minutes, 14 seconds by getting super lucky with skull drops. Like, god dang, dude. Even with looting three, it takes me years to get skulls. And he makes the wither spawn inside the bedrock roof for it to suffocate while simultaneously hitting it with a sword to deal a ton of damage. Now it's time for the big one. And no, I'm not talking about my 6th grade science teacher, I'm talking about the All Bosses speedrun, where... Aw oh, dang, people actually have done this in 1.19. Where the goal of this speedrun is to kill the Wither, Elder Guardian, Ender Dragon, and Warden in the fastest time. Mathox, again, got the record for this in 51 minutes 40 seconds by pretty much doing the same strats for each individual boss by killing the Elder Guardian first, then the Warden, and nearly 40 minutes later, killing the Dragon and the Wither at the same time. He first kills the Dragon with beds like an absolute Chad, then kills the Wither that he trapped in the bedrock frame around the portal, similarly to how the Wither was killed in the nether roof in the other run. Now this next one is definitely weird, and it's a speedrun category called High Percent, where you see how quickly you can beat Minecraft while being high. No, I'm just kidding, that's not what this category is, although that would be pretty funny and entertaining. High Percent is a category to see who can get to Y level 420 in the fastest time. The set seed record for this is 28 seconds, where Hanabi destroys a buried treasure to get some TNT then lights that TNT right above another buried treasure that has even more TNT. Hanabi then makes this TNT launch pad to activate all of the TNT, then dies in order to respawn to take advantage of the few seconds of invincibility, and gets launched all the way to Y level 420. Let's try this out. All right, we're just gonna kind of wing it for this one. I think it's this one, right? You kind of mind to, yes, you get that, you get that. And then you run over here. Like I said, I'm just winging it because I'm not sure. Yeah, make all those. Uh, what is it, guys? You do this and this. Bam. And I think that breaks stuff. Yay, another chest. That's kind of crazy. How do people even find these seeds, right? Oh my god, I have a stack of sand now. So, so what do I do? I just make something like this. Do I need to break that as well? So it all goes there? I think so. 
and then you put all of these pressure plates there and then I just build or wait you can't build with sand right because it, it'll block the whole thing off wait what the heck maybe you do that you make a little thing I'm not sure actually we'll try this out though so oh, I didn't die oh well god dang it all right so I looked it up and I actually think I have a better understanding of it now so yeah you do this like before god dang it can't reach it Oh my god, I'm already already doing bad on this. Okay, and then you do this, you get those pressure plates, go bam, bam, and then you mine this and this. That's what he did in the video. Okay, well, <laughs> you don't die. God damn it, this is way more difficult than what it looked like. Okay, let's try this again. God dang, this, this spawn sucks! Alright, so some of that, bam, some of that, bam. Uh, god dang it, now I have to make this stupid thing. Bam, there we go. Yay, we made the thing. Alright, and then I do this, and then I mine some of that, and that. Why? I don't know. And then- <laughs> God dang it! Okay, come on, dude. I gotta get it right this time. Okay, so mine that, mine that. Bam, that, bam. God dang sand, get out of my inventory. Freaking sand. Okay, uh, and then you go. Bam, bam. Mine some of that, and some of that. Take a lot of damage, that's good. We need to take damage. Um, I don't know why the water isn't coming in. Man, I'm gonna freaking scream. Okay, so then you do some of that. I guess I need to do this to get the water to come in. Like, come on water, yay, the water's there. Okay, so then you uh, um, get some of this and then you make these things here, right? That's what happened in the video, I think. Yeah, and then you do a little bit of that, and that, and then that, and then that, um, and then that, yeah, I think so, and then you make some of this, go down here, I need to make sure the drop is big enough that it'll kill me, I think that'll kill me, right? Yeah, there we go. No! Bro, why did I spawn so far away? Alright, surely this time I'll I'll do it. Okay, so I did all that. Oh, shoot, I actually got it. Dang it, but I didn't get to 420. Okay, I got 220. Hey, 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 not bad. Not bad. You know, I'm cooking a little bit with this one. Oh, god dang it, I'm not gonna make it in time. Shoot. That sucks. That thing really sends you flying, though. Okay. I think this is good, right? This should kill me. Yeah, let's see. Oh, no, dude. You always spawn so far away. Yeah, wow. This speedrun has definitely taught me that this is really RNG. Because you spawn... Let's see if we can find it. You spawn anywhere in this chunk, right? So, yeah. Either it's this one or this one. I don't know. Guys, what are spawn chunks? I don't know if it's a four or the first one or what. But you spawn like either right here or like all the way over here or sometimes over here. And it's just like, God dang. So yeah, all right, that's all I'm doing. The random seed speed run for this category is pretty impressive too. Done in two minutes, 56 seconds by Feinberg, where he uses the TNT found in two separate desert temples and again, makes the TNT launch pad and gets sent to 420. Now I'm about to show you the longest speed run record in all of Minecraft. A speed run where the world record is 21 hours. And of course, because of this, only one person has actually even attempted this. And that is the speed run for beating all versions of Minecraft. Of course, this literally isn't every single release, snapshot, etc. That would be stupid. This category is for 1.0 through 1.17. However, there are also categories for speedrunning versions 1.0 to 1.8, 1.9 to 1.17, and 1.0 to 1.16. I have a feeling that Max will hold this record for a very long time because I can't imagine many people would want to attempt a 21 hour speedrun except for me i'm just kidding there's no way in hell i'm attempting that but one speed run that i have actually thought about attempting is the adventure mode speed run so let me show you how that's done okay so with this run you spawn here and you have to go in the chat and actually change it to adventure this is the only way you can get an adventure and then when you move the timer starts and so we have to go all the way 
over here there's a village all right and here's the village and then when you're here you open this get some of that god dang it i'm already messing this up you're supposed to get wood i don't think you're actually supposed to get those potatoes it's been a minute since i've actually done this run but it doesn't hurt to have more food i guess and then yeah you pretty much go to these houses and get the stuff out of the out of the chests here put the helmet on come over here get the chest in here that's more wood and bread get the chest in here that's wood and a pumpkin pie because that's helpful and then you run all the way up here and this is where it gets a bit tricky so you open this get the pumpkin pie cool and then you do a little bit of this make that build a stack of those and then make a ton of boats and then you come try to find this guy that just went in the house and hopefully he sells yeah so this is the incorrect one this is the incorrect one um you have a percent chance and i'll actually show you what that looks like yes this is it okay so you do this and then you make a ton of these awesome that's fantastic that is fantastic yeah, and then you do those and you make a bow. Awesome. So you have a percent chance to either get that previous trade or to get this one and then you jump in here. Oh dang, this is actually a pretty good run. Um, and then now we're going to the stronghold. So I'm going to try to get this dolphin to give me a boost. That would be really nice of you, dolphin. Please, if you could do that for me. Awesome, nice. So it gave me a boost. So now we have a bow and a ton of arrows. And we're using this dolphin to go now over to where the uh, end portal is. All right, and then eventually when you go, keep going past that uh, little line there that I went, you'll go here and you go all the way, you keep following this water down and then it will come to an end. And the reason I know how to do this, by the way, is I've actually done this speed run before for fun. Uh, I have a whole video of me doing it on the second channel if y'all wanna check that out. But yeah, then you go here. Um, you don't have to break the boat, but I didn't make a lot of boats, and you need boats for this speedrun, actually, which is pretty crazy. Um, but you just keep going straight here, and eventually, when you climb up here, you will notice this hole. And then you can put a boat there, go down. Yay, you're down here now. Use that <laughs> crazy trick. Um, and then, uh, if I can do it right, there we go get that boat and we're at, well oh uh oops but after going for a while you'll eventually make it to the stronghold try not to get caught in the cobwebs like an idiot like i am right now um and then yeah you just kind of go jump over that place that boat and then keep going this way and you make it to the actual portal and then you try not to get killed and then, yeah, the portal's already lit, obviously. This is an adventure mode speedrun. Obviously, we're going to be playing on a seed where the portal's already lit, right? And you use this trick. This is apparently only a bug that you can do in 1.16, which is why I'm playing on 1.16. But you use this little trick to place the bow on the outside edge of the block. There we go, finally. And then break that. God dang it. I have to cheat to give me boats, but you get the general idea, I'm pretty sure. God dang it, I did it again. So maybe the strat would actually be to, you know, make more boats and not a bunch of useless sticks. I haven't watched the speedrun in a minute, I'm just doing this all from memory, so. And then, yeah, you go to every single one of these and break the end crystal. And that's basically how it's done if I beat this in 10 minutes and 50 seconds. The next speedrun is for getting a full inventory in the quickest time possible. And Unsword Your Tears, I think that's how you say his name, did this in 12 seconds. By spawning right in front of a ruined portal with a chest, mining the chest to get everything inside, then mining a bunch of individual blocks and going straight inside a desert temple, mining more chests to get more items, and yeah, that's pretty much how you got a full inventory. Now let's talk about a speedrun that's really competitive and super impressive and that is the how did we get here speed run which requires players to achieve the how did we get here advancement in the fastest time possible if you're unaware how did we get here is achieved when you have every single status effect applied on your character at once so withered night vision poison mining fatigue and all 23 other status effects circuit did this in 18 minutes which is super impressive because when i play minecraft at around 18 minutes i'm just getting iron 
But in this time, he speedruns to the nether in order to get a brewing stand and a beacon for extra status effects. Once he's made a few potions with the items he's gotten while getting to the nether, he gets to the end and uses this really weird glitch that right when he goes through the portal, he exits out of his game. And when he loads the game back up, he's on the outer end island, completely avoiding the dragon fight. Once on the outer islands, he goes to an end city and makes the beacon with speed, haste, and jump boost, then drinks a bunch of potions to get more status effects, eats a puffer fish to get poisoned, gets hit by shulkers to get levitation, and gets hit by the wither to get withered. This speedrun looks like an actual nightmare to pull off. There's more weird speedruns out there, so if y'all want more, just let me know. Here's all the members on the channel right now. If you want to see your name on the next video, click that join button at the bottom and subscribe. What else?